do not let anyone please 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 koinonia my conscience must be clear before god and i must tell you do not let anyone convince you convince you that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> I tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons why many souls do not come to the kingdom if you are involved in all those things i love you but you must stop this night in jesus name say amen whether it be, you are part of it or not say amen immorality is not just sleeping around hold on so that you don't just say thank god me i don't sleep around even god knows hold on pornography pornography right now we have our blackberries it's amazing you check christian phones and see the kinds of things there i'll talk about it pornography all kinds of other devilish things and don't just blame the devil the day your roommate sees you and say ah, what is this with naked they say it's, it's satan I'm, I'm even waiting for end of the month no don't mock god don't mock god don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say lord i'm open and then you receive that one there are many of us we are great men and women of god but this is the setback in our lives right look listen to me this is this is bethel the place of bread huh what i'm doing to you now is like a, a doctor giving a patient injection you feel the pain but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed immorality sisters let me talk to you you must create rules in your life are you hearing what i'm saying if you have not been doing it create rules if you are in a relationship talk about it you are in a relationship with with a lady part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her sit down and be saying i'm a man of god and you'll be very surprised warn yourself tell yourself myself behave receive grace from god create boundaries huh i will i will tell you this don't think oh this is the law mm -hmm. man if this law is going to keep you focused and useful so be it so be it hallelujah there are many of us study yourself sister you know you are very vulnerable huh don't go as i say i know he's just a pastor it's been long since i washed his plate was the plate not washed was it not washed thank god for your generosity but you must be careful anything you cannot do in the open is questionable are you getting what i'm saying and many of us who are pastors here you are the we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack hear me hear me man of god you accepted the call and you are careless with your life you will be very surprised if there is the call of god upon your life guard your anointing or you see the way men embarrass themselves you can fake healing deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that you'll be casting and the demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things it should never be so we are going to pray because i know that there are people affected in these areas are you getting my point and trust me if you think you need help please see me for counseling i am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what i'm saying there is nothing to be ashamed of because you see spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long they will find expression immorality 
is something we, we must work. I know God is helping us. We are young people, right? The TV, the media, all kinds of things. The, the challenge on the average young man right now is, is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40, 50 years ago. I understand that, but it's still not an excuse. And please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it. Huh? There are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it. No. Mm -mm. There are people who truly, truly have taken advantage of the grace of God. And they love God sincerely. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you think you cannot hold yourself, start finding a wife quick. Quick. No, 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 no. I'm very serious. I'm not playing games. The Bible says it. It is Bibles. I'm not saying you marry because... Mm -mm, but the Bible says if peradventure in your quest to love God and you find out that you have prayed, you have fasted, you know that this one is not demons again, please marry. I'm telling you this. Marry. It is a biblical... Say it doesn't change anything. Are you joking? Are you married to know whether it changes something or not? Just marry. Obey the Bible. Don't start arguing with scriptures. Anger. Immorality. Immorality. You have, a, you have pastor friends or groups sit together and talk about this. Talk about this in love. Don't condemn people. And you, when somebody comes to meet you and says, See, I find myself sleeping around. You say, I knew it. The way I've been looking at you, I know you are not straight. No, no, no. That ministry is not given to you because that's the issue. That's, listen, listen, we're rounding up. That's the reason why many people are unable to open up because they are afraid. They don't trust us, men of God. They don't trust. Somebody comes and opens up and tells you, This is the challenge in my life. This is what I'm going through. They will say, Ah, have you had forget everybody you see preaching on stage oh people are dying in silence the other person say what are you talking about I say i would just you something happened no as a minister you are a steward don't betray people's trust on you are, are you hearing what i'm saying but please i'm talking to you this is an admonishment from the depths of my heart you feel that there are issues compromising your christian experience and you need help by the grace of god God has anointed us to be able to offer you help and with Jesus joy and with every open heart it's a privilege but don't sit down and die you can fake it before men but you see you are it's, it's a seed you are sowing it's a seed you are sowing we're going to pray just two prayer points rise up on your feet and we'll be done for tonight today's service was another dimension by the Holy Ghost hallelujah listen hallelujah while we are taking the first prayer point at the same time an altar call is going to be made please everyone listen this is a serious altar call there are many of us tonight who are saying Lord please take my whole life I'm surrendering everything to you I'm tired of living life my own way you may have even given your life to christ before but you know that you are not serious with god and you want to step up your christian experience god has shown you that he wants to use you he's shown you that he wants to do mighty things but you are saying lord i've, I've not truly surrendered everything the moment we start praying i like you to just come and go on your knees here i would like to lead you to the lord jesus christ young old whatever please you need to truly make up your heart and your mind to the lord hallelujah the moment we start praying please i'd like you to come up we're out of time prayer point number one prayer point number one you're going to say lord put a passion for souls put a genuine passion for souls in my life that beginning from tonight i will begin to be serious about winning souls and making sure that people are established in the faith lift your voice and pray while they are doing that all those who need to come out find your way to the front god bless you God bless you. God bless you as you're coming. The remaining, the rest of us, please keep praying. God bless you. All of you who are coming, just come and kneel down here. Before God. There are still people sitting down. The Lord is speaking to you. If you need to be out, don't wait for anybody. Find your way and come. While the rest of us pray. Take 
take it seriously tonight this is the beginning those of us who need to come out this is the beginning of your journey your spiritual journey to relevance your spiritual journey find your way to the front god bless you cry to him don't just come and kneel down and look at me cry before god I'm poor. Apostle, I'm tired of this fight. Jesus must win it tonight. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. There are people here saying, apostle i'm not even sure i've been around the things of god maybe my father is a pastor but i am not sure there are others saying i don't have the power to break free from my friends come and join them quickly join them and god will grant you the power and the grace you are here inside and outside quickly one minute come and join them apostle i need the help of god this my friends i love jesus but these bad friends you are still sitting the spirit of god is speaking bad friends they must live my life i love jesus but i'm so i'm so connected to bad friends everything they tell me i have to do it i have so much complex when i want to leave them they threaten me with loneliness make your way here i believe there are still people the spirit of god is speaking tonight is a very serious night we want to produce results make your way to the front thank you jesus all of you seated stretch your hands in one minute to those who are here stretch your hands to them in one minute and pray they are crying before God there are some of you seated in the congregation and Jesus is speaking to you let me tell you one truth if you belong to the category I'm talking about I promise you the power of God will look for you even if you go home I, I assure you sleep you will not find because God is looking for you the Word of God never leaves you the same I'm still on bad friends so bad friends apostle help me make your way to the front i don't need to go into details you know exactly what bad friends are make your way to the front Hallelujah. maybe let me use the opportunity our time is gone but let me use the opportunity and add prayer for all kinds of addictions let's add addictions no if there's no space they can join here you are addicted and you need god to help you join them smoking drinking masturbation lesbianism homosex whatever it is join them there's nothing to be ashamed of join them quickly come and kneel down everyone pray don't keep looking at anyone it's none of your business join them quickly Join them quickly. Kneel down before God and cry your heart to your maker. Yeah. Yeah. Apostle, I have tried and tried. It's not like I am bad. I've done my best. I've done everything I know to do. join them codeine tramadol join them join them this 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 swallowing of strange drugs join them injecting yourself join them i'm not condemning you i love you 
Join them. Hallelujah. Listen, please, I don't want you to come out here if you don't mean genuine repentance. Because after I pray for you, I'm going to give you an instruction. Especially for those of you that smoke, um, smoke all kinds of things. I'm not saying you are bad. These things are highly addictive. There are spirits behind them. It's not counseling that sets you free. It's deliverance. Some of you were introduced to all kinds of things. Masturbation, pornography, lesbianism, by maybe house help, or maybe even brothers and sisters. But the devil is a liar. We are trashing the things that are stopping results. Our time is gone, but this is a very special night, I believe. God is helping people. There are our brothers and sisters that need help. Some of you even left cigarettes in your house. Left all kinds of things. Now listen, I may not ask you to come out because there's no space here. But listen, let me be honest with you. If you are into drinking, you know what drinking is. I want you to repent. Don't ever say where I come from, we all drink. Don't say I have 2% alcohol and all these stupid arguments. We all know what beer looks like. You are involved in drinking that destroys you. Let me tell you the truth. Maybe for time's sake, the space is already full, but where you are, everybody is going to pray. Don't sit here. There are some of you who should be here. So don't watch those coming out and just, no, 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 no. Everybody is crying before God. All of us in concert, those falling online, lift your voice in one minute and cry. You know the area. I didn't mention it, but it, it requires crying before God. Apostle, I learned drinking from my father. No, sir. No, sir. You have to work on it. Everyone pray. Not just those kneeling down. Everyone pray. Lord, there are relationships I must break. There are relationships I must end. There are calls I must make tonight. There are videos I must break into pieces tonight. There are videos in my phone I must delete forever tonight. Pray. There are sugar mommies and sugar daddies I must cast out tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I'm going to pray for you shortly. But if you are here and whether you or your parents consult mediums, herbalists, Zaria City, or whatever to collect charms, some for studies, for whatever, you will never see the power of God until you do away with those things. There are even preachers that have it. That you are not the one that concocted it for receiving it. Blessed is the man who does not walk. It didn't say he's a wicked man. You know, when we say these things, if you are not involved, you will believe it doesn't happen. It does. Of course it does. Every little thing. And please, those of us here who are parents, I plead with us in the name of Jesus. This issue of carrying children to native doctor for marriage, for child, whatever the word of God cannot give, cannot be gotten by, let no herbalist lie to you. And herbalist also includes false prophet. Any man of God that must collect money from you to provide a miracle, run away quickly, quickly. I say it again, run away quickly. Bring 20,000, bring 30,000 for the prayer. No, sir, what nonsense, nonsense thing is that? There was somebody who wanted to buy the power of God with money, and Peter rebuked. He said, Your money perish with you. Herbalist, many of us, this is what confused our lives. You went to a herbalist, they made incisions on your body in the name of getting power or getting immunity. How about husbands and wives? 
two days to the wedding they quietly smuggle the wife or the husband behind one tree and make all kinds of dirty things there is always a legal access for satan let's not play games if these things are not dealt with there is no miracle happening anywhere hallelujah those of us who are in front here some of you have given your life to christ you are rededicating breaking free it doesn't matter what category listen i love you and i honor you with all my heart i don't know if i would have the courage to do this but let me tell you i'm proud of every one of you when it's time to pray some of you are crying don't recite don't murmur pray with all your heart because the miracle working power of jesus is here some of you as you are praying those demons that have tied you that are crashing your life to nonsense will jump out of you i promise you because there are spirits behind it take note as we pray especially people see let me tell you please listen i know our time is gone we have one more service and we're done just listen to me i i don't want to make you uncomfortable i know that there are children here but let me teach you something you see when please when a man and a man and a woman and a woman meet together something very dangerous happens in the realm of the spirit do you know why god destroyed sodom and gomorrah it was not just because they were sleeping with themselves it's deeper than that are you hearing what i'm saying now yes a man and a man a woman and a woman no sir you are altering your destiny in a way in a way that you will not believe what i'm telling you it takes the mercy of god don't just get up and shake yourself and say it's over it's not over sir god destroyed sodom and gomorrah there are gay rights being passed across nations now and people celebrate i'm not i know there are people listening from different parts of the world i don't mean to violate the rights of any nation but let me tell you one truth in scripture sodomy is a strange spirit a marriage will not even cure it don't think when maybe when you are married now no it won't cure it because it's a spirit say after me those of you in front those of you who smoke wee wee indian hem and the rest as i pray this prayer of deliverance please pray and all those places where you go and collect you must leave all this riverside all these streams where you meet as groups you have to get out of it say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you some of you are not saying it say i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe you love me i believe you died for my sin tonight i receive you as my lord and savior i confess that you are my lord you are my savior i receive eternal life into my spirit from tonight every destruction that has happened in my body i command a miracle right now now i want to pray for you those of you who especially with addictions smoking drinking these are the things that cause cancer you need a miracle you don't just need prayer of salvation because you have destroyed your body already those of you who smoke all kinds of things hot weed i won't condemn you but those who sell it too god is watching you because you can't say i don't take it but i sell it lord jesus i stretch my hands right now to your people in the name of jesus if there is any spirit in any of you right now as i speak by the power of the holy spirit i stretch my hands the spirit of addiction all kinds and every spirit that ties you down and keeps forcing the urge the appetite for the things that you do not want to do right now as i pray in the name of jesus i command that spirit to come out of you now in the name of jesus i put a spiritual barricade between you 
and any human agent that comes to sponsor this thing you are doing whether it's drunkenness whether it's whatever i put a gulf between you just like the rich man and lazarus may you never make contact again in the name of jesus any soul tie that is as a result of any kind of connection i break it right now in the name of jesus any part of your destiny that has suffered as a result of this i release you right now by the mercies of the god of heaven i release you right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the devil will not use your past against you i declare that you are a new creation in christ have refused to embrace sacrifice and that is why we grow up in darkness our time of manifestation will be delayed so long as we hold those things that negate and resist the move of God you may know all the scriptures you may master all the doctrines you may teach it eloquently but you may not have any manifestation because God is not looking for preachers. God is looking for witnesses. There are many preachers, but there are few witnesses. When he sent them out, he didn't send them as preachers. He sent them as witnesses. He said, go into all the world and be witnesses unto me. Be witnesses unto me. And the way they demonstrated it was by sacrifice. When they were beaten, they didn't come back and lament it. They said they thank God that they were worthy. To be flogged for the name of the Lord. Meanwhile, we are a generation where people are looking for rema and revelation. But every demand that God places, we can never manifest those demands. If you have come on this mountain and you have not dropped anything yet, it means you have not begun to travel. Don't be psyched, don't be motivated. Men don't become by chance. Everything in the kingdom is an ordered reality. When a spirit begins to woo a man, the first thing he does is that he places demands on that man. He wants to find out how much you can let go. And when you let go, then the spirit begins to saturate you. The spirit begins to saturate you because everything you hold on to that you think is dear to you is not dear to you. You are just being a puppet of another spirit. The things you think you love, you don't love them. You are only playing the cards. You are playing the whispers of another spirit. Everything man holds on to is a revelation of a spiritual dimension. There is nothing we were designed to carry. We were built to carry spirits. You were built to carry spirits. You may think you love watches and then you become obsessed about watches. You are joking. Is a spirit of self-awareness. Is a spirit of lust that is trying to woo you, so that that watch we make that watch become your. The spirit we make that watch become your god, and after a while, that watch will become more significant to you than God. The day God woos you, you will discover that watch is only needed for for to to keep track with time. Watch will no longer add value to you, because what that spirit wants you to understand is that your value is in the watch. And the moment you think your value is in the watch, you depart from God. But what God wants to tell you is that your value is in Him. So everything you use, you use it because it's necessary, not because He adds value to you. That's why when they ask you, who are you? You may say, I am the servant of God. And it's enough. He said, woe unto the city, whom princes eat in the morning, and the nobles eat for pleasure and not for strength. He said, but blessed is the city whom nobles eat for strength and not for pleasure. So a point will come where even the food you eat is to energize you to do the work of God. That's when you have broken the powers of lust. Because the key for destroying lust is sacrifice. 
And every time a spirit wants to destroy lust in your life, it begins to place demand. So the second protocol that he taught Gideon was the protocol of sacrifice. Raise an altar. Raise an altar. Raise an altar. 